Mr. Gunani, um, Satyam was is the name uh, for one of the biggest uh, uh, business scandals in India. That was last year. Um, how would it charge? How did that affect uh, India's economy in general? In retrospect, Daniel, I think it is difficult to say if it had a long-term impact on the Indian economy. But the fundamental fact is that it came in as a huge shock to the investors in India, to overall the governance processes, to the regulators, and they all had to sit up and start asking questions, both not only of the board of directors, but also of the auditors and the role of the regulators. So I think when you look back, this accident had a positive impact. The positive impact is that a, our governance rules and regulations have become a lot more stringent. Number two, investor information sharing has become a lot more transparent. And number three is that uh, ultimately a Satyam, uh, even from a scandal, was rescued in a very systematic manner. So Mahindra uh, took over Satyam, it's called now Mahindra Satyam. So in retrospect, how would you judge, do you have uh, reached a turnaround in your company? We use the word transformation at Mahindra Satyam. And all the top 150 leaders got together in December and we agreed that transformation journey will not have a finish line. We will continue improving our operating matrix, which could mean growth, it could mean profitability, it could mean customer satisfaction or an associate delight. Number two is that we strongly believe that Mahindra Satyam's actual prowess is in its service offerings, which is enterprise business solutions or in engineering. Now, in engineering, we do work for organizations which do washing machines or a dispenser. We work for electrical CAD people, we work for automotive, aerospace companies. So these are our main strengths and we'll continue working on our turnaround. What you call turnaround, but we will say is a transformation. How big was the risk uh, to take over the company uh, last year? You know, ultimately this decision had a fair amount of deliberations which went on not only at the executive level in Mahindra's, but also at the board level. Yes, every decision has got a risk, but I would consider this as a small risk. We did not believe that we were taking a huge, big risk. And from a small risk, we also had a risk mitigation plan. We also had worked out how to manage the risk. And uh, looking back a year later, I can only tell you that it's not even one year. Actually, April 13th is the one year. Nine months later, I can tell you that we are happy that we took the decision. So did the brand Satyam suffer from uh, that scandal and uh, how would you charge that? Again, that's a very, very interesting question, Daniel. We went around asking every customer, including the Swiss customers, German customers, Austrian customers, to figure out would they do they believe that the brand was tainted or did they believe the promoters were tainted? They all came back, Satyam stands for a legacy for enterprise business solutions, for a continuity, for the integrity of its employees and for delivery excellence. And that is the reason why we reinforce the Satyam brand with a Mahindra Satyam because Mahindra is the most valued brand in India. It's known for integrity, it is known for values, it is known for ethics, it's known for a management style which many people aspire to achieve. So I think that's where the name Mahindra Satyam came in. Satyam uh, employed, uh, before the scandal, it employed about 50,000 employees. Now it's uh, 30,000 after uh, massive job cuts. Do you plan to uh, cut further jobs? I think, Daniel, we need to put the things in perspective. 50,000 people had 25% excess employees. And a lot of business between January and April walked away. Now, I think at 30,000 we are right-sized. And the good news is, Daniel, that we are hiring 4,000 people in the next four months. So I think you will start seeing that the company is adding employees instead of retrenching employees and we are very, very firm in saying there will be no more job cuts. You mentioned uh, Swisscom uh, and Nestle, your uh, Swiss clients. How, is, uh, how are the chances for uh, your, uh, you know, uh, enlarge your uh, Swiss business? 
I think uh, Switzerland is a main focus area. We are one of the few IT players which has a huge local presence in Switzerland. We have offices in Zurich and Geneva. And we do believe that we will only extend our business relationships, partnerships and joint ventures in the Switzerland market. Last question, uh, Mahindra Satyam is, uh, you know, uh, delivers the IT services uh, for the FIFA World Cup in South Africa this year. My question is, who will win the World Cup? Mahindra Satyam will win the World Cup because we are the sponsors. I am the one who uh, <laughs> had the proud privilege of carrying the trophy without playing a game. <laughs> but we are supporting it so well that we will be the real winners. And uh, I'm sure the, I do hope the FIFA World Cup stays in Europe. But uh, ultimately, let's figure that out on uh, July. Mr. Gunani, thank you much for your time. Thank you so much, Daniel. Thank you. It has been a pleasure talking to you and Cash.